right now we see the ultrasonic and the ultrasonic are what are enclosed in that. You can see a bit of the blue circuitry in the end and those are uh, ultrasonic. And what the ultrasonic it has two eyes. So two eyes is one ultrasonic sensor. It's a sensory substitution device. So in other words, it aims to replace the sense of sight by conveying spatial and environmental information through vibrations to the user. And that's where the challenge was, is that I'm trying to convey a lot of environmental information, which the eyes can do very easily, but the ability to learn a new sense, and that's what this is, is a new sense, is very challenging. Toronto's Manning Whitby was one of the top students at this year's Canada-wide Science Fair, in which 500 of the country's top young scientists showcased their real-world solutions. Manning was recognized for developing a wearable aid that provides blind and visually impaired people better spatial perception. Simply put, it uses um, ultrasonic and LiDAR. Ultrasonic and LiDAR are very similar to how bats echolocate. So it sends out a sound wave, it returns, and then it collects that and calculates the distance. The collection system gets information from around the surroundings and the communication communicates that to the user. And so the collection system is worn over top of your clothing and the communication, because it's um, uh, almost like a second skin, that's the idea, is that you would wear this underneath your clothing. So similar to a backup camera, the closer you get to an obstacle, the more intense the vibrations will be. Not only that, it also gives information about location. So if an obstacle is on your left, very simply, you'll feel the vibrations on your left. It's very difficult at first, but once you understand and once you know the different cues, it becomes very effective to move around. The aim of this device is to give them that independence and the freedom to go interact, go explore. Well, Manning is now moving on to the European Union contest for young scientists this September, where he'll compete against innovative ideas from around the globe. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.